Hey guys and welcome back. A lot of questions, a lot of suggestions and videos and um, I'm quite overwhelmed by it. So thank you for that. Keep it coming. Um, one thing somebody asked me was how to segregate your data. So maybe you have one column that you actually want to look at which particular category it belongs to. So one way to do this is by using a function called interval match. So let's look at how to use interval match in um, in this particular video. So if you're interested, stick around. So what do we want to do here? So I have a table called days to be shipped. It's an inline load where I have different order IDs and in how many days this particular order ID is being shipped. So what I want to do is row by row match it to what is the priority. So in case day shipped is two, what is the priority? And I want to link this particular field to this table. And essentially what's happening is we are going to do an interval match where we look at the days to be shipped. And when we look at the day start and day end, so what interval match does is it automatically segregates this particular field here into the different rows that you have. So it looks at two and then it says two should lie between day start one and 10. Hence two is going to be added over here. Days to be shipped two is going to be added here and um, so on and so forth for each of the rows it segregates it into the different rows based on our interval match so now we have two columns this is our key column here a key table here um, we have two tables and now what we're going to say is we're going to do an inner join because um, well we just we just want to keep those rows where we have a value, right? So we're going to do an inner join and we say interval match. What is the column that we want to interval match? Well, we want to interval match this particular column days to be shipped. And that is what we will be adding over here and days to be shipped. And we say a load how are we matching it? We're matching it based on day start from your key table. So we're matching it based on day start and day end. And where is this? This is a resident load because we are loading it based on a table that's already here. So this is these two fields are in the table called days category. So we're going to say these two fields are in resident days category. So now basically what we're saying is we have a table with a field that we want to match it based on our key table. And we're saying so join this particular field into by interval matching this field with day start and day end. And this day start and day end is in your key table here. So let's load it and see what happens. So now when we look at our days category, an extra field has been added. It's called days to be shipped. So 2, 11, and then it shows you the day start, day end, and the priority here. So we have two here with very low priority um, based on our key field over here. So now when we look at our sheet, so now what we can do is we can actually put in our order ID and we can put in our priority. So we know that for each order ID, what is the priority? And that priority is actually based on our days to be shipped. And this days to be shipped is linked to your days category and it's been segregated automatically using the interval match function. So a super simple tutorial and um, I hope that was helpful. Please leave a like. See you in the next one. Peace.